So, whether you got one of these, or one of these, or one of these, it's all good. Whichever type of band you've got, there's always a way you can adapt and do the sort of principles you were doing. Why not try some of these routines out to keep those muscles active, those muscles are ready. And also, great way to stay fit during this lockdown. Okay, so why not try this out? Okay, so this first exercise is the internal rotator cuff. All right, these sort of exercises are absolutely fantastic for injury prevention and also strengthening up of those shoulders around the shoulder area. Okay, so this one, keep your elbow tucked in. All right, start from a, a parallel position, all right, 90 degrees and pull it into your hip. All right, the next one will be the external rotator cuff. All right, so this time you'll be starting from the hip, okay, and then working your way out so your arm is parallel with your hips and at a 90 degree. Again, keep the time under tension on this, okay? The worst thing you do is rush. And this next one you see is one without actually using um, a fixed object to keep the ferroband attached to, okay? You can actually just use your body. So it's a different way of you actually doing the internal and the external rotator cuff. Okay, just show different variations, hold it behind your back, okay, and work that way. Okay, next one is the hangman exterior cuff. All right, this one is fantastic. Again, just getting those, those injury preventions and just strengthening up. But make sure your elbows are parallel with your shoulders, okay, and then come as far back as possible. Again, keep that time under tension, all right, and keep that movement fluent. Next one is working the hangman frontal cuff. Okay, so again, don't need to come all the way over on this. Just go up to about a 45 degrees. Start from your hands in the hangman position and then just tilting forward into that 45 degree angle. Okay, again, keep that time under tension. No need to rush on this. Okay, worst thing we could do is rush. All right, the airplane signal. Okay, it is a single band tear. Okay, keeping one arm straight in the air and the other arm signaling down. Okay, again, keep the time under tension. Don't let that band slack. Okay, and make sure you do both sides, okay? Of all the exercises, make sure you equal within it. Okay, you can do it as a timed or you can do it as reps. All right, many different ways you can actually do this to help your strength. All right, again, it's a bit more, kind of getting those external areas of the rotator cuff. All right, it's a band tear pulse. All right, and that's what we go with on this one. Okay, again, keep your elbows tucked in. Okay, palms being supinated. All right, and then pull it outwards. Okay, so this next one is the butterfly back raise. Love this one. Great little strength exercise, but actually really helpful for like working on your post posture and to heal, help keep you in a nice neutral position. Okay, I absolutely love this one. Next one, another strength exercise, the shoulder press, single. All right, again, different variations to do this. All right, this way I'm doing this one. Okay, again, starting from your shoulder, thumb at your shoulder, and then press straight up. Again, try and keep that control throughout. Next one, it's a bit of a weird one. It's the chicken, the chicken back row. Okay, again, you can do this kneeling, or you can actually do this uh, standing, all right, bent over. Again, try and keep that spine nice and neutral throughout. As you see from the side angle here, all right, keep those elbows tucked in, all right, and go for that chicken sort of stance, all right, and then pull them in, and right, really work those back muscles. Okay, next one, the press-ups is banded. Okay, this one, again, just get the straps around your back. Okay, um, obviously, the harder the band, the more thicker the band, the harder it's gonna be, all right? So if you're not used to doing press-ups, don't do this. All right, do do it if you are good at them already. All right, so the tricep extension singles. All right, really great for a great squeeze in those triceps. All right, again, just make sure you finish off that band so it's nice and straight, and make sure it starts off not lapped, and make sure it is tight, okay? Nice, strong turn. All right, next one is bicep curl. It's a supinated, it's the hammer and the pronated. Okay, so the palms facing upwards for this supinated. Next one's the hammers, okay, so palms facing inwards. Okay, and then the next one will be your pronated, so palms facing down. Okay, and again, just working a different part of the bicep head. All right, absolutely fantastic again for working that strength. All right, again, just sewing it from the different angle. Okay, so supinated. Okay, palms up, bringing it in, get a nice squeeze at the top. Again, make sure the band is tight when you're doing these exercises. Do the hammer curls next, palms facing inwards. All right, and the next one is pronated. Again, palms facing down. All right, keep your elbows tucked in at all, all times. All right, and just be working on those biceps, okay?
Okay, this next one, working the core. These are the wood chops, the middle with a short range. Okay, keep your elbows tucked in, arms bent at 90 degrees. Okay, really working uh, around the um, obliques. Okay, and working across the transverse as well. All right, so the wood chops, obviously fantastic working that core. Again, I like this one a little bit more so though. This is the one with a mid range, uh, mid with a long range. Keep your arms straight again, start from the middle. Next one is the wooden Russians. Okay, the wood chop Russians. These ones really getting into those obliques. All right, and working across the transverse. All right, kind of like you doing your Russian twist. Okay, but this time with the banded. Uh, this one really working across the transverse part of the abdominals. Okay, working from the shoulder. Okay, working through to the floor, through to your foot. Okay, with this one, you can uh, have a better band. All right, and that way you can make a bigger range. Okay, so again, just seeing it from this angle. Again, start from there, make a slight bend in those legs as you start bringing it to your foot, really working across that abdominal area of the transverse. Okay, so that's that one. But next one, really working down those back muscles. Okay, again, this is a great one for working your posture. Okay, and another great strength exercise. Again, make sure the band is tight from the start, working all the way up. So this one is a single way of doing it, just doing it one at a time. All right, rather than do one, I wait. You can exp make the band a bit bigger as well if you've only got a small band to work with. All right, so see it from the side angle. All right, and then see it from the other side here on the other arm. Okay, don't forget, make sure you do both sides equal, whether it's for time or for reps. Okay, always keep it at time under tension as well. Okay, we don't want to be rushing too much. Okay, I always like to do the main part of the exercise nice and fast, and then as I take it back to recovery, and make sure you do that a little bit more slower. Okay, again, this one. Okay, this next one is the lat pulls banded. All right, um, great one to do if you haven't got a pull up bar. All right, it's fantastic to do. Maybe you could do it down a washing line. Okay, all right, do it on a double or you can do it as a single. Okay, again, just make sure your arms start off nice and straight and pull those elbows through the body. Okay, until you get a squeeze in those lats. Okay, so again, this is another injury prevention one. All right, this is the banter low, mid, high, and then reverse. Okay, so in the middle here. All right, so make sure you just keep pulsing, keeping that time and under tension and keep that band, all right, tight as possible. All right, make sure you're working through those muscles. Okay, so this is the one at the high. All right, the band tear at the high. Again, just make sure you're nice and tall. Okay, and then going into reverse. Again, just make sure the band is nice and tight so the hands are close together, all right, within the body. Okay, and then you're pulsing just outside of the body, all right, as we're going along this. All right, absolutely fantastic one again for those interventions and to build up those shoulder muscles and again to kind of get those muscles prepared. All right, the dolphin pulse, the forward uh, to the reverse ones we're gonna do here. So these are the forward dolphins. Okay, so again, just pulsing, keeping that band tight throughout. Again, this one is the dolphin reverse. Again, starting from just behind the body. Okay, and then pulsing backwards, just a small movement. All right, to really work that exterior area. Okay, this bit more of a strength exercise, this one. So the shrugs, the banded shrugs. Um, you could do this as a single if the band's not quite hard enough for you. Okay, do it as a single or you can do it as a double. All right, really work those traps. Remember, make sure you get a squeeze at the top of those shrugs. All right, next one is the shrugs rotate. All right, banded. Okay, so you can do this one going in reverse. You can do it forwards, but make sure you do it slowly. Keep that control. All right, don't rush this. Okay, all right. Um, absolutely great for again building around those shoulder muscles trying to work out any sort of injury prevention work this can do all right is always a bonus so work at it all right it's always a nice little bit now this okay, this next exercise is the lateral shoulder raise this one's fantastic for building up those shoulders a uh, real big strength all right doing the lateral side all right and then working on into the frontal area okay again absolutely fantastic keep those bands tight from the start okay you just have to go to shoulder height all right, get that tension in those shoulders. All right, and really find that squeeze. Okay, next one is the transverse one, starting from the hip, um, from the opposite hip. So if you're on your right hand, then put it onto your left hip. All right, and then bring it right the way across. Try and bring it up as high as possible to so the other angle of the hip. So you're coming right across the body. All right, these ones are fantastic. I love this one. Really great for back development as well, this, this type of exercise. All right, working that exterior deltoid. Um, next one, moving on to the legs now. Okay, so the hip flexor. All right, going to the front side. All right, just shoot from there. Again, just start from in front. Just make sure the band is tight. All right, throughout. Again, just work those hip flexors. This one, the hip flexor reverse. All right, similar to what we did at the front. Okay, just make sure that band's tight. Okay, you can either just make your legs go further apart or you can just start a bit higher up. 
Um, so the knee up hip flexors, these are fantastic. Again, build that strength into all around those hips. Okay, so again, make sure you stand on the band, make sure you're supported. Okay, and then just raise and try and get those knees up to hip height. All right, through this. All right, so the abductors. All right, banded. So again, make sure that band's tight. All right, let's get a little squeeze going out to the side. All right, really great uh, development from around about those hips and those abductors. Okay, so again, just see from this this angle now. All right, see that concentration in that face there. We're doing good. All right, so the next one is the adductors. Okay, so adding across into your body. All right, very similar again. Keep the band tight. All right, and bring it across your body. Start from your foot and then bring it across. Just the remember, side. these bands can snap. Okay, so make sure you check for any sort of imperfections within the bands before using them. And obviously, whichever item you put it on or if it's around your foot, make sure it's securely fastened. And if you do start using the band towards your face, make sure you look away. You don't want it coming towards you if it's the first time you're using it, especially you're not used to using the bands. All right, so be careful with the bands. All right, but we'll have fun with them. Let those muscles grow. Let's get stronger together. All right, and let's work solid. Okay, let's get it done. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the content for today. This has been a privilege to do this. My muscles are aching. I hope yours are too. Don't forget to subscribe and like my page on the YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. See you later.